In the Unresolved Problem segment tonight, we're just about two months away from the election, and the political ad war is a take-no-prisoners situation. Both the Obama and Romney teams put out new ones today. Take a look. Some think Obamacare is the same as free health care, but nothing is free. Obama is rating $716 billion from Medicare, changing the program forever, taxing wheelchairs and pacemakers, raising taxes on families making less than $120,000. Free health care comes at a very high price. The Romney-Ryan plan will restore Medicare funding and protect and strengthen the program for the next generation. Some of our, our children's greatest experience have been in the smaller classrooms. But Mitt Romney says class sizes don't matter. And he supports Paul Ryan's budget, which could cut education by 20%. You can't do this by shoving 30 or 35 people in a class and, and just teaching to some test. These are all issues that really he personally cannot relate to. To be able to afford an education, to want the very best public education system for your children. How do we know that both campaigns are telling the truth and who is winning the ad war overall at this point? Joining me now to analyze from L.A., Anthony Holm, the author of the book, 52 Reasons Not to Vote for Obama, and from South Carolina, Dick Harputlian, a member of the Obama Finance uh, Committee. Uh, let's start with you, uh, Dick. Uh, look, I, I see the Obama ad as, you know, fairly effective, and, and I see that it's trying to keep Mitt Romney over here. He doesn't understand people or he doesn't understand your financial concerns and these poor kids. Uh, but uh, how does that play with uh, folks in the middle who are just trying to keep a job or get a job? Well, you know, uh, Laura, I uh, am also chairman of the state Democratic Party uh, and here in South Carolina and had the opportunity to go to North Carolina on Saturday and go door to door with a bunch of South Carolinians to independent, you know, they register by party up there, independent voters. So I talked to 50, 60 independent voters who, uh, many of whom uh, were committed to uh, Barack Obama, many of whom were committed to, to Mitt Romney, uh, almost an even split. And then there were people in the middle. And the ones I talked to said two things about what they're seeing on TV. One, I'm convinced that most of them don't believe either side. Uh, so, I mean, you, when you say it's effective, it's effective to the partisan. I'm not sure that, that either side it's effective, except to this extent. I mean, Mitt Romney's ad is, you know, the, the death panel, death uh, panel, uh, reminiscent of the death panel allegations. Obama's ad is about specifically what is Romney's plan on education, and since Romney uh, has to defer to, to Paul Ryan, he keeps saying, I've got a plan, or I've got a budget, or I've got this, we don't know what it is. It's probably in a lockbox in the Caymans, or at Swiss ba some bank uh, where he's got a Swiss a bank account. I mean, we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. Yeah, I mean, Dick, huh? again, I think those kinds of cheap shots uh, are what people are tired of, really. I mean, if you wanted the truth. I mean, lockbox in the Caymans. I mean, Dick, Dick, you know that Paul Ryan is number two on the ticket. Mitt Romney has an enormous amount of specificity, uh, both what he's talked about on the trail on, and on his website. But we also know what's in Obamacare and what it does. And you can pick up on this, uh, uh, Anthony. Uh, we know that Obamacare raids $716 billion from Medicare. That is a fact. That's being hammered home in the ad. I think that's equally as effective as the education ad. Thank you, Laura, and that's spot on. I understand that Dick is in a situation where he can't defend the last three and a half years of the president. It's a very tough spot to be in. The reality is the distinction between the two commercials is we can look back and see what Obama did. He rated Medicare for $700 million. And that's very, very tough to swallow if you're a senior in Florida, a senior in Ohio, or even in South Carolina. And then Obama's ad is a projection of what may or may not come from a Romney presidency, so it's speculative. I would run from the past if I were on their side as well. I mean, the really tough ads are yet to come. For example, in South Carolina, if you went out and cut a spot that said, in 2008, when we elected him, we had 6.5% unemployment in South Carolina. Today, we have 9.6. That's a 50% increase. Everybody understands the unemployment rate. I mean, how does Dick sit there and look South Carolinians in the eye and say, he deserves another term when we've had unemployment go up 50 percent. We're going to see that throughout the country, particularly in the swing states, North Carolina, um, Florida, and Ohio. I mean, D Dick, you can answer that. I mean, look, I think Obama is a master politician. I, I've, I've thought that from the very beginning. I think he's brilliant at, at just ma masterful at commanding the stage and so forth. 
But he does have a record, does he not? And he said, he, if you're not better off than you were four years ago, that's an important barometer. He said that four years ago. Is it not the case today for you're in South Carolina? South Carolinians are not seeing their lives better off today than they saw them four years ago. Is that not the case, Dick? Well, I think, well, I think absolutely when Barack Obama took office, he could not in any way know in 08 that we'd be hemorrhaging 800,000 jobs a month uh, with what George Bush left us. Now, I'm not blaming George Bush. It isn't about blaming George Bush. This is about understanding what the situation was. We're not hemorrhaging 800,000 jobs a month. We're picking up jobs. It is anemic, but you know, part one of the polls that came out today said Congress has the lowest approval rating it's ever had. And I think the people understand Barack Obama can't pass laws. It has to be Congress, so and they have totally no, so rejected he, every plan he's had. We can't had. blame okay, so, Congress. So, Dick, let me just get this straight. So, so Barack Obama is powerless to deal with Congress now, with a Democrat... Uh, a controlled Congress. He's po he can't do anything. Is that what you're saying? Now? No, no. The Republicans have the House, and he has a bill sitting there that would put. Then a why should we? Well, well, wait a second. Wait a second. He, he, can't do anything. he was very he was very successful in increasing the debt from 10 trillion to 15 trillion. Yeah. He was very successful in forcing through a uh, mandated health care that he said was not mandated health care well, in the primary there in South I mean, Carolina. <laughs> I think, guys, this you have to deal what, with the what, Congress what? that you have, right? The Congress now is divided, so that means you have to compromise with Congress. I mean, you can't. Well, he's trying to compromise. All he, yeah. The Congress he, will not. The, this Republican Congress he hasn't will not to the do yeah, one he dollar. Hasn't one to dollar. They came in as the great compromise. One dollar. We got to go, guys. We're out of time.